What's going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be going over the bus, <laughs> the boat building in, the duck torpedo, that's what we call it, until I put up a pool and get get your guys' opinions on it. But we're gonna be working on the trailer. All that stuff was stuff for the trailer. We got chains, we got new lights, we got bunks. We're still waiting on um, getting some treated pine. Um, we got the marine geared carpet for that. Um, so we're going to be getting this trailer running. That is the goal for today. Get that to a working condition. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right. Well, first things first, guys, on this trailer. I'm not reading, reading any of this line, so... Alrighty, fellas, hopefully it's not too windy for this, but this is day two. We're out here, and um, well, we ran out of daylight the first day, and today I actually already got started going on stuff of it, some of it. I got the new crank installed. I got this crank installed as well, whatever you call this thing, the lift. Added the chains. Now we got two chains instead of one, which is, uh, you know, definitely preferable if you ever were to come unhitched. And then I started cleaning up this part of the trailer as well. Took off those old plastic pieces and rags. Took off these makeshift little angle pieces as well. So now um, it's to the portion where I'm going to start uh, making the bunks. So I got this. This is pine, um, treated pine 2x4s. Um, we're going to put the marine carpet over that. We're going to do that same thing. And then we're going to cut down these angles because they're way too tall and wobbly. Put them down, you know, to a reasonable level. And then put the marine carpet over those as well. Get these cars out of my video. And put the marine carpet over those as well. That, that way the boat has something to bounce against as it's coming up and loading onto the trailer. So, and then lastly, lastly we got to get working lights. Got so much crap in here, but here is the lights. Not that light. The lights and all the wiring, so definitely got my work cut out for me. Guys, I thought this was gonna be a simple, quick install. Everything always takes longer than you think. I think I left for Lowe's about noon and it's four o'clock. Really wanted to get everything done because I am itching bad to get this thing on the water. So um, let's get to it, get all that work done, get the lights on it, and we'll be good to go. Hopefully, maybe three hours left to get on the water. Just got done with the painting. I got one bunk done. I got the rails done. I've been grinding away on this. Um, but literally, as soon as I got done with spray painting, and by done, I mean I ran out. I had like one and then two half cans. So, you know, I got a little bit of, <laughs> I, got the, I got the camo green. 
and then I ran out of the can and a half and down here at the back I got the, the camo tan and I didn't get everywhere inside either because I, I'm really just it's not really for looks it's just like a a rust pre preventative there a little bit and I mean it does look a little sharper so um, can't complain about that but I'm not going out to buy more or waiting to get more paint to finish this off I used what I had I was hoping it would finish it it doesn't I don't really care so gonna keep going on with the build one more bump and then the light All right, fellas, tried to film the outro with the big camera, but it's so freaking wet out here and humid that this thing just keeps fogging up. But I wanted to show you guys the before and after. Guys, my back is screaming. This took me <laughs> like 10 hours to do over two hours the first day and like eight hours today. But man, huge improvement on all fronts. Guys, we got the new chains in there we got the new lift we got the new crank winch whatever you want to call it we got the electric installed we got spray painted with whatever i had left over i got new bunks for the boat and for the side bunks as well pretty much just guides from the water um and got all that wrapped in a marine carpet marine grade carpet and the lights in the back just tested it down the road and I'm super pumped. I got it done guys, everything is done. I think I estimated at the beginning of this video or the end of the last video that it would take me <laughs> like half a day's, half a day's work or three hours work. Well, I was way off and unfortunately I didn't get it into the water today, but that's all we got. Get out of here cars. Gotta say it guys, I live on a busy road, it's annoying. Um, but anyways, guys, stay tuned. Next video, we're going to get the boat on the trailer. We're going to get the motor on the boat, and we're going to get it in the water and test drive it. I am so excited to see how the boat rides, see how the motor I picked goes with it, and get out there on the water. So stay tuned, fellas. If you're new here, hit the sub button. Stay tuned. I'm Jordan, Deccan Chronicles, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go.